Hello, in my Dice Mania 3D printing video series I would like to talk about Spherical D6. Yes, it's a spherical six-sided die. It's a sphere with the six numbers and when you roll it, it will always stop in, in the position where one of the numbers in on the top of the sphere. How can this work? Well, actually inside there is, of the sphere there is a hole with corners and inside the hole there is a steel ball which will always sit on one of the corners what kind of hole is inside? Well, according to Wikipedia, it is a square pyramid, two-sided square pyramid, where bases are touching each other. And the steel bulb is always sitting in one of the corners, and then that's how can this work. But I noticed that uh, with this method, the mass point of the steel ball is quite big. Uh, if I make these corners rounded, this means the ball can go even lower and the mass point will be also lower and it will stop even better in proper position. One more problem I have to solve, how to print this? Well, I decided to print it in uh, two pieces, two hemispheres. And one more thing which has to be solved, how to stitch this together. And uh, in my previous video I was trying to solve this stitching with, with the filaments, but it is very hard to print proper hole. So in this video I am testing my new method. Uh, I will try to stitch this with uh, pins for, for 4 mm holes. Pins are cut so they are a little bit elastic, so that printing of the hole doesn't have to be 100% correct. So it has some tolerance and it can be useful. Okay, let's start with the first version, with the design. The design I started with the square, but also I add these lines which are connecting the middle points. And then I extruded the cube. And then I added these two points, because with the loft command I can create the, that pyramid. So here is one, and here is the second one. So as you can see, every corner of this uh, two-sided pyramid is touching the middle of each side of this cube. Actually, I don't need this cube anymore. Then I added the sphere. I will turn off the session analysis. So I cut from the sphere that uh, two-sided pyramid and we get this hole. I cut the sphere into two pieces, so we have two hemispheres. I don't need this anymore. And then I added those holes, uh, size is four millimeter in diameter. Because they will be added to the both hemispheres, I will use them for connecting two pieces together. And then I added the numbers. Oh, let me show you only the number six. So I use this sketch. I create a cylinders. From the cylinders, I cut the sphere. For the moment, so you can see now. And then I move them 0.3 millimeters into sphere, and then I cut from the sphere these cylinders, and then how I got these holes. And basically, that's what I did with all numbers. And we have prepared this sphere for printing because it will be printed in two pieces. So this will be the one piece and the second hemisphere. With the printing it shouldn't be the problem because this is 45 degree approximately, something like that, so overhang of this will not be the problem. I printed this with 0.2 millimeter layer height, only on the top of the sphere I added uh, bigger density, smaller layers to get better surface.
and here it is. It is a very good feeling. It's working correctly. Even on the slipper surface it is rolling and it's stop on proper position. But I'm curious uh, if I make those corners rounded then our mass point will be even lower and ball will stop, the spherical dice will stop even faster. Okay, let's try that version too. And these are my design steps with the second version. I started with the square, which I extruded to cube. And in the middle of every side of the cube, I added a sphere. And then I added the big sphere. And I cut the inside spheres from this, so this can be se seen. I don't need the cube anymore. This can be seen in the session analysis. And the next operation was fillet of 5 mm. I split the spheres in half, so I get two hemispheres for easier printing. And I added these conical endings. The reason for this is for easier printing, because if the end is a sphere on the top, that will be too big overhang for 3D printing, so I need here some conical endings, so it can be easier to print. And the last thing in this design was holes, 4mm holes, where I will insert my new pins, so it, uh, it will stick together these two hemispheres. And here is the second version. Here I forgot to make some small holes for the dots of the number. But this file can be downloaded on my website. In that version I will add those holes so you can easier color with the permanent marker. Both versions are working correctly. Uh, on slippery surfaces it, this one with the rounded corners is too good. So it is so stopping so quickly that, that basically it is slippering after some time, it's not rolling enough. If you are using on text, textile or uh, cutting mat uh, surface, then, then both versions are working good. And this one will, will stop even faster. Which one I like better? I don't know. Depends on the surface, as I mentioned. If the surface is too slippery, then this version with uh, sharp corners is better. If surface has better friction with the ball, then this version is better because you can play on the desk and it will no, no, uh, not fall roll down from the desk so easily. It will stop faster. It is good to have this one. It is it's so cool to have this, but I'm almost sure that I will never play games with these dice. Yeah, let me know if you 3D printed which one you like better. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you will follow me to my next video. Bye. Thank you.